hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it is our inspiration monday guys stuff for how you guys doing i hope you guys are doing wonderfully well please tell me how you are doing on comment section let me know that you are fine or you are not fine and wherever you are watching me from you can as well drop it on the comment section and my returning subscriber thank you so much for always going back to watch me and today's word is going from the Galatians 6 1 to 5. If you read it down there, you will get to understand that Jesus is a burden bearer. As a human being living on this planet Earth, how are you helping people to carry their burden? Are you like, I beg, I beg, I beg, everybody should carry their own burden? I beg, everybody should carry their own burden. He does not consign me. Don't just be someone who doesn't even care about what other people are going through be sensitive on the things that you tell people don't just open your mouth wow and be asking questions asking some question that is meaningless try to use somebody's problem without knowing that the person is going through that particular problem to mock them it might kill them i was watching one of the biggest ministry in nigeria currently zion ministry some time ago and it happens that there is one man that God located through evangelist Ebukobi. So when uh, the man was interacting with um, evangelist, he was like, Daddy, money is not my problem. Money is never my problem. Money has never been my problem. I have money, Daddy. If you see how this man was saying this thing, eh, I was like, ah, ah hey see me here we are looking for money and somebody saying that money is not their problem that they have it in quantum even his brother beside him told brother that money was never their problem they have money this kind of a person now what he needs as a person is not just money what he needs is for you to bear his own burden as a christian as a person what he needs is just words of encouragement, solution to his problem. How are you helping people around you? Are you living your life carelessly, thinking that ah, it doesn't matter? Are you opening your mouth direct or indirectly to talk at people without knowing that it's going to hurt them? I know there are some times we make mistakes out of anger. But when you do so, retrieve your step and apologize. Let that person know that you said those things out of anger. But that does not mean that you will not be mindful of what you are saying because you, at the end of the day, just go and apologize. No, that's not what I'm saying. But just be mindful. It's not everything that comes to your mind that you must talk or you must speak out. Sometimes learn how to hold some things. So many people are going through some difficulties. Some people are bearing the burden of poverty, sicknesses, diseases, um, growth, delay, disappointment. So many people are bearing so many things in their hearts. Some people don't even have mind to share. Some people will be like, I don't know if I should share my problem now, if she will mock me or if she will just spread it around. How are you helping your neighbor? How are you helping your sister? How are you helping those people that come to you? Even if you don't have any material thing to give them, how are you encouraging them? So today's word is learn how to be a burden bearer. Please, no matter how you can help people, try to help people. Be kind with your words. And you are not giving back because of your sins is following you. See, let me tell you, you have those children that you're using to brag is because God wants you to have. Don't mock people. Be a burden bearer. Put yourself in some people's shoes before you judge them. Some time ago, I was watching Mary Jane TV on this YouTube street. There is one woman there. She's a young girl. Uh, if that, okay, let me just say, how is that girl with be is 26, 25, 26 years. I'm going to leave the handle here. You can go and watch it there. I watched it from Medjane's TV because she have not given birth. After three years, she got married. Her in-law is trying to pursue her from her husband's house, trying to say all manner of things. Even me looking at the girl herself, you will know that that girl is a reserved, quiet girl. Why are you inflicting pain on others? 
because of your own selfish desire. Don't inflict pangs on people. Try to put yourself in people's shoes. When you are talking, even if you're having misunderstanding with somebody outside your house, in a meeting, in school, wherever you find yourself, address it amicably. Be a burden bearer. Put yourself in people's shoes. Try to help when you can. Even if you don't have any material thing to give, be kind with your words. When you see people going through difficult moments, tell them it's going to be fine. Pray with them. Support them. They will lead to you have. Not by, eh, this thing that is happening to you, you are the cause of it. You will die in it. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Are you God? So today's inspiration is for you to learn how to be a your burden bearer. Don't inflict pain on others because of your own selfish desire. Nobody is perfect. Even me that is preaching here. I have sinned. I am still sinning. The only thing we are asking for every day of our lives is for the mercy of God to help us. Not because we are good. Not because we are righteous. Not because we are doing it perfectly well. But I, I came to realize that people hardly control their emotions. Some people when they are going through difficulties, they tend to say things out of proportion, which is not good. Know that that person they are referring those words, are calling those names, has his or own problem too. That is why we are going to learn how to be emotionally intelligent. Control your emotions. Don't allow your emotions to control you. And again, do you know being a burden bearer can as well bet some testimonies for you. Being a burden bearer can as well make a way for your generation to come. Some people have helped me countless times all because of what my daddy did when he was alive. I'm not saying that he's righteous, but helping people, being a burden bearer can as well make a way not only for you, but for your children and your children to come. And when you are doing those things, don't hope that you are going to get it in return. God might use another person to favor you too. That is how it works. Even if you don't have a material thing to give, your words can as well go a long way. Even if when you are not existing in this life, the person will always remember those words and said, I can remember when I was going through difficulties, this person's father, this person's mother, this lady, this man this girl helped me his works brought life to me i'm not saying that you should go and be doing guy and because you're encouraging people you should post this all over social media that's not what i'm saying but it is a thing of joy to know that you are there to help one or two persons in your life around you be a burden bearer and not a gossiper going from one shop one house from one junction gossiping around instead of you being a gossiper find a solution to people's problem if you can if you want to pray with them pray with them find solution for them stop being a gossiper from one junction to another causing problem causing havoc so i'm going to stop here today if you watch up till now thank you so much i really really appreciate and if you have not subscribed do me well to subscribe like share and also comment just know that every monday such words comes to you every monday here on this platform try and also share this video because sharing is caring okay spread the word of god spread the good news for others to benefit i will see you guys on my next video i love you so much I really, really love you and I pray that God will always be with you and bring you good people that will be with you in the time of your difficulties. You see, eh, before I conclude, let me say this one. In every day of your prayer, just pray that God will bring people that will stand by you when things are going so God, tough for you. Genuine people that will not turn against you at the end of the day or post it all over social media or maybe if you guys have misunderstanding the person will start spreading it telling people eh, eh this one that one that is not a burden bearer burden bearer will help you stand by you and we not hear it from anybody and god will always bless that one person that will keep to this 
i will see you guys on my next video let me stop rambling because if i start talking now this video is going to restart me this video i love you but just know that jesus christ in heaven loves you the most bye